Well, thank you, Mark. This week, Bill Harris completes his four-week series based on 1 Chronicles 16. The last part of that verse talks about continually staying in the presence of God in order to, to sustain us in our day-to-day -day walk. Bill Harris entitles this Staying Connected to God and explains the importance of doing this and how to go about it. Bill, we're in the middle of your teaching series that's breaking down 1 Chronicles um, 16, verse 11, uh -huh. which talks about multiple things. It says, Seek the Lord in His strength, yearn for and seek His face, and to be in His presence continually. Yes. And we've broken down last week one of the areas, which was the seek His face, the face-to-face -face relationship. You covered the other first two previously, so now we're to the final one, which is being in His presence continually, and you title that Staying Connected to God. Yeah, I think that is so important. And when we look at it at first blush, Zach, and we think in our finite uh, minds that, well, how, how do you stay connected to God? I mean, I can't stay on my knees 24-7. <laughs> I've got work to do. Right. And that is so true. And do you know God understands that? He knows the world that we are living in. He knows the limitations we have. But with our spirit, that part that connects first with God, we can stay connected to Him. And that spirit can lead us into either praise or worship. And, and the difference between those two, praise is when we're thanking God for what He has done for mm. us. Worship is when we are honoring Him for who He is. Those two things are very important. Uh, a third one is to, to, to indulge in the Word of God yeah. and, and reading the Word of God and confessing the Word out loud and prayer, just out and out prayer, praying and talking to the Lord. When we are, when we pray, we're ushered into the throne room mm. for an immediate audience with the creator of the universe. I mean, that's some kind of connection right there. Yes, it is. We know people in high places. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So you outlined four areas that we can stay connected mm -hmm. and you use a, a visual in your teaching to describe why we need to stay connected. And it starts with the fall with Adam and, and Adam and Eve yeah, yeah. in the separation from God. But the ultimate goal, as I understand it, is to align our spirit with his spirit. That's true. I mean, when we do this, it's almost like a GPS system hmm. on star and yeah. the like, because when we get off track, you know, you'll hear that voice, we calculating, we calculating. They're right. trying to get you back on the course to your destination. This is what God is trying to do to get us back to being reconnected to hmm. him. It is not his will that any man should perish. That's what his word says. Hmm. He makes it so plain as the Bible says that a fool need not err so that we can be connected to him. That's right. And, and so once we are, um, that's where we can really experience the presence of God, the guidance, mm -hmm. some of the discernment, mm -hmm. the wisdom that he provides. And he's also going to bless us if we are in alignment with him. It's just like a regular investment. When you put in an investment in, you're taking a bit of risk. You're taking some of your resources to invest and you're hoping for a return. Mm -hmm. We must invest our time. You wake up every morning with 86,400 seconds in a day. Wow. You, you know, that's the blank check that God gives you every day. You have to determine how you're going to write those checks out for the amount of time that you're going to spend here and there and with the Lord. Mm. And when we make those decisions right and we invest some of that time with Him, it pays off with great dividends like any other investment. So when you're talking about praise and you're talking about worship and a couple of these things that we can do, mm -hmm. um, specifically those two, you talk about how one is really a natural progression yeah. of the other. Praise, when we're praising God for the things he has done, it's a natural, uh, worship becomes a natural progression of that as we're now enveloped in awe of who he is. And the progression from that goes to being in his glory and being in his presence. That can happen right in our seats. Hmm. And it doesn't, I'm not talking about some mystical spooky type situation, <laughs> but we begin to feel and sense in our spirits this easiness and this sense of peace and that, yeah, there are those problems there, but you know what? I can sense God on board with me. He's got my back hmm. and he's going to lead me through this. Some things God takes us around, some things he delivers us from, but there are a lot of things he takes us through. Hmm. And when we go through them, we come out on the other side with a testimony. Surely it was the hand of the Lord that brought me out. Right. There's a confidence that is just uh, really non-negotiable there that you just come out of it feeling on fire. And when you look at praise and worship, you mentioned that worship is worshiping God for who he is. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is an important uh, factor to consider because sometimes emotionally we're not feeling so maybe great or maybe we're in the middle of a tough situation and it doesn't seem like we can see anything positive going yeah, on. Yeah. But that doesn't change the character of God. 
And I think that's important to remember. It is. I, you know, I can think about, uh, take a person that's, that's an avid sports fan and they get caught up into somebody's uh, record. You know, they mm. just broke the record and, and we get into all of that and we, we're just, we're so full of applause and the like. Well, that can take our mind off of problems and circumstances. But what about when we're dealing with the Lord? I mean, the Lord has, Jesus hit a home run, the ball's still going. Jesus uh, made a touchdown and, and that record is still standing. And we can keep going with that and be encouraged to know that he's more than enough. He's all that we need. You know? As always, you can hear more on this topic this next week on Update with Bill Harris, Thursdays at 9 a.m. and Sundays at 1.30, right here on TV 44.